What is going on everyone? It's Codexual here with a video tutorial on how to make your live stream or your audio better, like your podcast, either on Twitch, YouTube, whatever services you are streaming towards to. Anyways, um, without further ado, you know, go ahead and do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the video, and definitely hit that bell icon for more future tutorial videos. Um, I'm really trying to push this channel out there. Anyways, so there's all these filters that I currently have up and running. Um, I'm going to go ahead and disable them one by one as I'm talking. Random sentences, I like pizza and hamburgers and french fries. So as you guys see it, as I disable each and every one of those features, you start to hear my voice going into its natural state. So no no um, effects, this is my raw voice. I'm going to go ahead and enable it one by one as you guys can start to notice the difference between um, the, the voice here, um, between the voice now and what it previously was, but that we're going back into now. Oh, can I English today? Probably not. Anyways, um, again, I like pizza, I like french fries, hamburgers, and shakes. So as you guys notice, as the features are coming on, you guys are start to hearing that difference, to hear that clarity. Um, I'm going to be talking about each and every one of these features. Basically, um, Let's say that you're a gamer, just like me, and you are raging, you are in a competitive game, um, and you just lost, and you're just cussing, you're swearing, you're like, ah, dang you, and um, you're just screaming into the microphone, and your viewer just took off their headset. They don't want to listen to that crap. Um, I don't like getting yelled in the air and it's like, oh God, that's too loud. Basically with one of these features is if you were to yell, it's not going to, it's not going to microphone spam the hell out of the person's earphones. It's going to be, it's going to be leveled out. It's going to balance itself. Now, if I were to go back all the way in the room and if I were to talk normally or to, um, yeah, to talk normally, basically my microphone will still pick it up and it will try amplify it, trying to make it sound like I'm still closer towards a mic. Um, it's, couple of cool features is to have if there's background noise for example if someone's just snapping their fingers if there's a baby crying if dogs are barking um just random conversation in the background and you don't want any of that basically you can remove that and it's gonna filter that out and so that it's, it's gonna have you talk so if you are a in a high traffic volume area like if you're at an airport and you're live streaming and whatnot it will filter all of that crap out and it will just pick up your audio so that's another thing that's awesome and there's going to be a, uh, a bass and a treble um in your voice so it's going to be more oomph to the <laughs> to the to the audio so uh, enough of me rambling um i'm going to go ahead and get on with the video so a couple things you do need to have is adobe edition um and you need uh, a couple of other things so let's open up google chrome and let me pop in the links of what we need okay so First things first is I will put links down below in the description for you guys to, to go and visit and download and whatnot. Um, you want virtual uh, audio cable, which is free. You scroll down until you see the orange button. You click download. You hit install that. Uh, then the next thing is you will need a Reaper's plugin. Um, now, if you're on a 32-bit, download the 32-bit. If you're on a 64-bit, download the 64-bit. Now, to tell the difference between if you're on a 32 and a 64 is let me grab. So you want to go towards your C drive, right? Your C drive is right there. And if it says X86, and then also basically if it shows two program files, that is a 64-bit. If it shows just one program file, uh, files, folder that's you have a 32 bit most computers are now 64 bit um so that's that's the difference a quick difference of how you can check if you're on a 32 bit or if you're on a 64 bit um after you download that and install it reset your computer um we'll go ahead and close out of that next thing is what you need to do is set up um right there's your uh, microphone icon speakers whatever the icon is going to be you want to click on right click then 
um, bring up this box here. So you first you want to do is go towards your microphone. I am using the Razer Siren Pro. Um, Y'all could have, you know, a Snowball or a Blue Yeti, whatever your microphone is. Um, if you don't know which microphone it is, basically make sure your microphone's unmuted and just talk into it. Just keep talking and talking and you will see the bars will go up. Um, there's multiple of them. Um, <laughs> that doesn't really help my case out here, but I know which one is which because I'm using the Razer Siren Pro. But um, if you have multiple mics and you don't know what is what, just talk into it or... This is where, you know, you're going to have to troubleshoot on your own because I don't know your own setup. Anyways, um, once you find your microphone, what you want to do is click on it. So mine is the Razer Siren Pro. Click Properties. Go towards the Advanced tab. Make sure it's going to be selected on 2 channel 16 4800 hertz DVD quality. So it's going to be right there. And... You're going to select your levels, make sure it's at 100, make sure, okay, yeah, these are the only two that you need to worry about. So, two channel 16-bit, 4800 hertz, DUD quality. Then, make sure that's at 100, hit OK. Next, what you want to do is, you will see cable output. This is the software that you just installed. You're going to right-click on that, click on Properties. You're going to do the same thing. Channel 2, 16, 4800 hertz, uh, DVD quality, level 100. It should be at level 100 for you. Go ahead and hit OK. Go to playback. And this is where you want to go towards your cable input. This is your speaker. Basically, uh, same thing. Properties, advanced, 16 bit, 4800. And you know, 100. So make sure all those match. All right. So now we got that enabled. We're going to go ahead and move towards. I'm, I'm going to have to start a whole new session here. And basically, this is going to be started all over. I can save this as a preset for you guys and whatnot. And this will help you out. Um, if you don't want to use the preset and if you want to do this one by one of how I set this up, cool. If not, just use the preset file that I gave you, which I will save and put it on the description down below. Um, now, let me go ahead and put my microphone back at, at its default thing here. So without using any of this whatnot stuff. Okay, now that I'm actually using... I'm not really using this um, the filters here because you just saw it change. Uh, I need to start this all over because for your guys' sake of what to do and what not to do. So we're going to name it um, YouTube Test. Or, or you, this, this is for you. You can name it whatever. So now it's all brand new, right? The first thing you want to do is if you are on... Uh, a Mac, you're going to hit Adobe on the top left, and I believe you click on Preferences, then you click on Audio Hardware. So Adobe Preferences Audio Hardware. Then uh, if you're on a Windows like me, it'll be under Edit, Preferences, then Audio Hardware. Now, this is where you're going to find your microphone, what you're going to be using, and whatnot. Make sure your device class is on MME. Now your input, this is where you're going to be using your microphone of what you're talking into. So you're going to select the microphone, da 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 da, mine's the Razer Siren Pro. And you're going to be choosing the cable input, and which should be at the very top. If not, look for cable input, VB audio virtual cable. Then it will automatically have the out cable input, uh, VB audio virtual cable. So it would automatically select that. So make sure that the MS is at 100 and might default at 200 anywhere between 50 and 100 you should be fine if there's a little bit of a delay then just mess around with from 50 60 80 100 um if you go to 200 then you're definitely going to notice uh, a delay or if you keep it at 200 you'll definitely notice a delay in your voice um so just letting you know about that make sure your sample rate is at 48 hertz um 4800 hertz 
because that's what we set the devices on. Everything that is consistent, there will be no audio clipping, and it's just going to sound better for you. So you, that's why we change everything to 4800. If you don't know how to do that, um, it defaults everything right here. Sometimes in certain Adobe Auditions, you're actually able to change that, but it should be defaulted at 4800. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do is hit OK. Um, so on here, this is where you're going to click on the arrow where it says Default Stereo Input. Go to Stereo go to Razer Siren Pro, which is my microphone, then on the master, you're going to go to stereo, and you're going to click on the cable input. Now, this is record, and this is monitor. Now, every time I talk into it, um, it's able to broad... Okay, so this is just recording the audio. Like, it, this is not broadcasting out. So, from my microphone going into the computer it's receiving that audio. But if I were to put in monitor mode, um, monitor input, basically now it's recording, it's taking in the audio, and now it's pushing out to the virtual, um, virtual audio cable. Now it's pushing out. So does that make sense? Hopefully it does. Okay, just nod your head, just nod your head. Just keep following the tutorial and you'll be fine. So we're gonna go ahead and disable them both, um, just for the time being. What we want to do next is, so once you have the Reaper Real plugin installed, you want to go towards the plugin, wherever that would be. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. It's been a while since I actually messed around with the plugins. Okay, so it's going to be under Effects, then Audio Plugin Manager. And this won't show up for you yet until you actually hit scan for plugins. Then all of this will show up for you. Then you just click on OK. Then we can begin. So first things first is we want to set up a gate. A gate it would be under, OK, so you want to click on your trap, track effects. Then on number one, you're going to hit that arrow pointing right. You're going to go to VST, then Kakos, Kakos, however the hell that you pronounce that. Then I'll say regate uh, dash standalone. Go ahead and click on that. Now, as you notice that there's no audio coming in, so this is where we want to start picking up the audio. Um, so, as I said earlier, as for the background noise, like, again, snapping, I'm going to keep snapping. Okay, so... This is where it's leveling at. See where the line is going? So it's right here. So with that background noise that's leveling right there, what you want to do is push up on this um, on this dial. You want to push up. Okay, so now push a little bit more up. Okay, so let me explain a little bit. Now here on the input, which is my microphone, right here on the top where it says input, the microphone, this is what I'm talking into. And how the output, it's matching with the input and the output. So every time that I talk into the input, um, it sends towards the output. Now, since I set this dial at where it's at, the input is right there. It's it's hearing the background noise, but it's not pushing that noise out towards your um, XSplit or OBS. So I'm snapping, and no one's actually hearing me snapping. So that's the awesome thing about it. So whatever background noise it is, or if someone's talking, um, if it's all the way up here, for example, you're going to have to talk really close to the microphone or that's a really bad environment that's way too high but um if the level's right here or anywhere between here you're good so that means you have to talk closer to the microphone but you you want it between here and at least here like here and here maybe a little bit there you're kind of pushing it so next thing is we're, we're gonna keep that right there like you, I can be like, you know, typing, um, let me, so it's picking, it's picking up and it's sending. People are able to hear that. So if I were to 
put it right there. Note that it's taking it, but how you see me talking on the output, it's hearing my voice, but it's not hearing the whole um, typing. You're able to hear it, but I'm saying if we were to configure it properly, basically you, we, we would be okay. So if I were to go back towards my X split, um, so you hear that now. Now let me go back to the X split and set up the, um, the default um, input. Okay, so now that I'm talking, uh, I'm spamming my not can't hear it. But if I talk at the same time while I'm able to hear it, but I'm just saying if I wasn't talking, someone's typing, I'd be able to hear it. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and move on towards the next, um, to the next thing that you need. So this is where you want to mess around with the level out that background noise, but we're going to move on. So you got the idea for that. Um, crap, it, I made it disappear. Regate stand alone. Okay, we're good. We'll just move that towards the side. Okay, next is the hard limiter. Basically, this is where I would scream from the top of my lungs and, you know, it will totally be like, oh, God, you like it'll remove your headphones. Um, so we want to go towards the hard limiter. So it's going to be in your um, first uh, first. Uh, yeah. I, I can't English today. It's going to be in your amplitude and compression and it'll say hard limiter. And now this is what we're gonna do is negative 2.5. Oh, negative 2.5. And you're gonna go ahead and um, apply it. But this is where you wanna start testing out the audio. So if you were towards, if you were to scream and all this whatnot stuff, this is where you want to mess around with it. But I keep it at negative uh, 2.5. So this is where you got to actually um, scream really loud and you have to hear it and see if it will balance it out. Then you will talk really low and see if it will balance that out and boost it up where normal talking is at. So, yeah. Next is the um, parametric equalizer. So we're going to go towards the... Uh, filters and EQ, uh, and you're going to click on the parametric equalizer. And this is where you're going to get your bass, your treble, and the voice. So what you want to do is you're going to hit the frequency. You're going to go to, let's say, 20. Okay, 20 is fine, 20 is fine. And you want to make sure that this is uh, the... Uh, Gain is a uh, 24 dB oct, and you want to cancel out these. Make sure that these are not highlighted in blue, so you just have the L and the R, left, right. Now, what you want to do is you want to in the hertz, you want to do a uh, what was it, 170 hertz. Hit enter, and as for your decibels, it's going to be 8.7. Okay, I, I've written this down in a notepad because I'm not good with memory with numbers. Okay, so in the other one, it's going to be your 36, 69 hertz. And we're going to mess around with the decibels. Okay, 11.7. And now this is where we want to be at. So you want to click on that where it's just like a, it's a level slope, then down, then yeah, so basically you just click on these icons just once. Now we're good. Now you have a perfect bass and treble in your voice. Next thing is you want to uh, adaptive noise reduction. So that would be where would it be? Ba -ba 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 -bom. Okay, adaptive noise reduction. Go ahead and hit OK. And this is where you want to go 
minus or just do 15 you want a hundred milliseconds and is that it and 150 Hertz so now adaptive noise reduction will also help reduce any hissing noises any um, white noises and we're going to go ahead and move on to the last one, which would be the multi-band compressor. There's not much that we have to do. Actually, you don't have to do anything. So just make sure that is enabled and just go ahead and hit um, exit and make sure all of these are blue. That That's it. That is it. And if you don't ever see your input or your output go anywhere, basically you have the tr wrong track opened up. Make sure it's this track, that you have this track selected, and you're good. So now that we have set up our um, Adobe Audition, we can move on to OBS or XSplit, whatever you use. I really don't use OBS, although that I should because it's free, um, but I, I like XSplit. But I'll show you how to set up the audio on both. Now, um, if you ever have problems, um, like if there's any clipping or anything like that, um, make sure that you save this before anything else, before I start talking on to the next thing. Save it, call it whatever you want it, um, so you have it saved. So you don't have to do all this again. Um, and again, I'll have a preset on here for you guys that will help you guys out. So, but if you ever have any problems with Adobe Audition, Make sure that you have the Adobe Audition um, shortcut on your desktop. Like close out of everything, close out of completely everything. And um, before you even double click on the Adobe Audition shortcut, you click on it once, but then hold down shift on it, then double click on it. Then it will fix your problems. Trust me on that one. Don't question it. It, it will help you out with a whole lot of everything and cause you a heartache and headaches and all this whatnot stuff. So. Uh, awesome. I loved how it, how it took out the filters. Um, I don't know if I hit control Z to undo everything, but we're going to pretend that they're still there. Um, now what we're going to go ahead and do is minimize this. So let's just say you're using XSplit. Don't mind the extra marrying infinity and beyond, um, stuff going on. So if you want to edit, um, have this, these filters on, you're going to hit the cog and you're gonna go down to your microphone and to the microphone, you're gonna hit the cable output. Then you're gonna hit apply and okay. That simple, that simple. So now on, as for the OBS, um, OBS 64 bit, it's gonna be essentially the same thing. So where your mic auxiliary is at, you're gonna kick, click, click, kick. Kick, you're going to kick the cog button and you're going to go down to properties and your uh, device, which is default device, and it's going to be your uh, cable output. Then you're going to hit OK and that's it. That is it. That's simple. So if you guys find this video very useful, informative, um, especially with the filters and whatnot, please give me a thumbs up. It really does make a difference. And what makes a bigger difference is if you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon. If you guys can follow me on all social media, there's that icon below that just kept on showing my name and icon bouncing to the right a little bit. It helps out. Everything helps out. So I'm going to see you in the next video, and I hope you guys have fun. Take care.